Have you ever come across some weird changes you swear someone else added to your Excel spreadsheet? That can be pretty frustrating, especially if you don't know who made those changes. Fortunately, there are ways to track who made changes each time your file is saved. We could do this with a little VBA code, and I promise you, even if you've never coded, this is actually pretty easy. So with that, let's just go ahead and get started. All right, the first thing we want to do is just open our Excel file. It can have anything in it. It can be any format. It doesn't really matter. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to File here, go Save As. And what we want to do is save as a macro-enabled workbook so we can run our code. If you have the Developer tab, you can click on that to get to the code window. Otherwise, just hit Alt in F11 to get there. Click on this workbook. The first thing we're going to do is enter the name of the subroutine, which is workbook underscore before save. And we need this so the event triggers every time the workbook is saved. That's how this is all going to work. Once we save, it's going to create something in our log file. So we need to dim a few variables here. We have username, we have timestamp, log file path, and log file. I'll get to all those. Okay, let's start with the username here. And that's pretty simple. This is how we get that. It's one line of code, not bad at all. We're going to do the same thing with the timestamp. That's really easy. You just type in now. All right, now we're going to specify the path to the log file. So this is going to create a file called savelog.txt. You can name that whatever you want. And this is going to be in the same directory as the workbook. You can save this somewhere else if you want to. If you want to specify the path, that's totally fine. So that's going to be the name of the file that we're going to get the username and timestamp every time someone saved. All right, so the file system object here, this is required for working with files in VBA. Believe it or not, we're more than halfway done already. So we're going to open the log file for appending. That's going to be mode 8. So you can see that 8 right there. If the file does not exist, we're going to create it. So that's how it works. So if it's there, append. If not, create it and then append. So we're going to write the username and timestamp to the log file. And this is going to add a line each time the workbook is saved. Once the data are appended, it's going to go ahead and close the log file to save the changes. Pretty simple. So after end with right here, we're pretty much done. So let's go ahead and give this a try. And you can just make some changes here. I'm going to add a two to Akbar right here under ID three. And I'm going to go ahead and save it. And let's see what happens. Is it going to create a log file? Let's find out. Okay, I see something right there. Okay, so there we go. We have a username and a date timestamp. Awesome. All right, let's try to make another change. And let's see what happens if we do that. All right, so I'm going to get rid of this two, and now I'm going to save it. Now let's see what happens. If it does work, we'll get the username as well as the date and timestamp again. So there we go. About a minute later, got that change. All right, let's see what happens if we just literally just save it again and we don't make any changes. Will it still work? I think you probably know the answer, but let's just check it out anyway and see. Yes, it does. So. Basically, anytime you save it, you're going to be able to see anytime someone saved the file here. So very useful. You can keep track of who made changes and who's been saving and who's been tinkering around with your file. So hope you found this video helpful and useful. Let me know what you thought in the comments. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching and subscribing and take care.